By now, you should already be very familiar with our gun style tritium airbrushes, seen here. Although these airbrushes provide improved ergonomics, comfort, and ease of use, there are a lot of individuals out there that still prefer a pen style trigger airbrush, like our Genesis XG here. So the question that we've always asked ourselves is, how do we maintain this particular trigger system, yet still improve upon its ergonomics? The inspiration for the solution came from something as simple as a pen. A pen is a very inexpensive product, yet they're still able to incorporate ergonomics into its design in the form of this comfort grip. So after about a year and a half of tinkering, we arrived at these two new products, the Genesis XGI and the Genesis XSI. Like the Tritium models before, you'll notice there's two different versions, a top gravity version as well as a side feed version. But what you probably first noticed was the addition of these grips. It's a two-piece system that's an ergonomic grip, one on the main body of the airbrush, and one on the trigger itself. Both of these grips are removable, so in the case that you need to replace them or they get dirty, it's actually very easy. In the case of the bottom main body grip, it just slides off from the bottom. The trigger grip comes off from the top. It's made of a silicon material that's impervious to most solvents, it's soft enough to provide cushioning where you need it, but also firm enough so it gives you structure for better handling. And most importantly, when you put it in your hand, you just kind of know how you're supposed to hold it. But ergonomics is not the only design philosophy carried over from the tritium airbrushes. We also brought along the versatility of those airbrushes. When we designed these two new airbrushes, we made a specific point to share a lot of the common parts with these two tritium airbrushes. You'll first notice are the cups and reservoirs. In the case of the top feed versions, we have the ability to go from a 2 milliliter cup up to a 50 milliliter top gravity cup. In the case of the side feed versions, from a 7 milliliter up to a 50 milliliter side gravity cup, as well as a side feed attachment. We're also using the same magnetic quick fit caps, both the standard style as well as the crown cap version. On top of that, all these airbrushes are now using the same exact needles, nozzles, and nozzle caps. So we can go from a 0.2 millimeter size, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, or even a 0.7. And remember, we even expanded the versatility of our airbrushes by allowing them to adapt to other manufacturers' cups and bottles. Like with this AD31 adapter, by attaching this to the side feed version of the airbrush, we're able to accept all the different Iwata and tester bottles and cups that plug into the side of the airbrush rather than screw into the airbrush like ours. Or we can also use our AD32 adapter which allows you to plug in all the traditional bottom siphon feed bottles from Badger, Pache, as well as Iwata. They just simply plug in like so. The interchangeability of parts between the Tritium series and these new airbrushes presents advantage on many different levels. In our case, by making less different parts, we're able to focus on quality even better. By purchasing one airbrush now, you have the ability to transform it and adapt it to different medias and applications. So you don't have to necessarily buy an entirely new airbrush depending on what you want to do in the future. We believe we have arrived at a systems approach to designing and building airbrushes. As all of our competitors are looking to create new products that are just in addition to their existing line, we are attempting to simplify our product line. We believe we now offer the most ergonomic and versatile airbrushes in the industry. It's innovation in the form of simplicity, a natural evolution in our product line.